Happy Wednesday, January 20th, HQDs. It is a historic day, and I am so excited to spend it with you, my BFFs, my best film friends, right? What better way to celebrate than a spicy HQ trivia movie night, huh? so happy. I am your host, President Anna Roisman. Thank you so much for all of your votes. Okay, maybe not, but I am royalty, right? Screen queen, they say. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. We still can't go to the movies like we used to, but we can watch them on repeat from the comfort of our own couches and beds. So hopefully you've been doing that, you know, when there isn't some big national major event on TV or anything, right? Have you been on your couch all day? Probably. You know how this game goes. 12 cinema questions are heading your way, all on the specifically chosen theme tonight of movies starring musicians. Oh, I love it. Just make sure you know, it's not musical movies necessarily. Some might be sprinkled in there, but it is movies that star someone who is primarily a musician first. So, if you remember all of those great performances, you will take home some of the $5,000 prize. Ooh la la. Or, or you can go for exclusive blockbuster enter excitement, entertainment, excitement, with a VIP ticket and have your chance at tonight's $1,500 VIP prize. All we need to do VIP mode is to sell 100 tickets but sales will stop at 150. So do it right now, okay? VIP mode, boys, we'll make you happy money. Yeah, VIP mode, do it now before we're done. Okay, tonight, back here. Tonight we are also delighted, I'm out of dream girls land. We are also so delighted to tell you about yet another great charity doing such valuable work in tough times. We are highlighting the charity Remembering Ruthie Rescue, rescuing dogs in Georgia's Gwinnett County. Founded in memory of a beloved pet lost to a preventable disease, the charity takes in dogs without permanent homes, dogs with medical issues, and senior dogs. Those that are not adoptable stay in the care of the sanctuary in hopes that they may live out the rest of their natural doggy lives. How cute are these dogs? Not only are we excited about telling you about Remembering Ruthie Rescue, but HQ is making a donation to them. And you know what? It's not a bad idea if you want to do the same. Or, or even better, you could even apply to adopt a dog if you're in the area at rememberingruthierescue.org right here. It'll change your life. Rescuing a dog, having a dog, especially during a pandemic. Oh my God, best thing ever. All right, just a quick trailer for tomorrow night's double dose of HQ Trivia. First, Jeff Eisenband will be hosting HQ's Hall of Trivia at 8 p.m. Eastern, and then an hour after that at 9 p.m. Eastern, Matt Richards is back for another game of HQ. Don't miss your chance to win twice, two times tomorrow. You know what? It looks like it's almost showtime. It really does. I'm having so much fun with my sleeves. <laughs> Which in the words of J-Lo means, let's get loud. You know I'm gonna slip it in. If she slips it in, I'm gonna slip it in. I know your future lies beyond the yellow brick road. So tell me, do you believe in life after Q12? I do, I believe in it, I believe in you too. Between the music and the movies, you definitely need an eclectic knowledge of art to ace tonight's game. So we're gonna start it right now. Here we go with question number one. Which boy band member starred in The Social Network? Justin Timberlake, Nick Carter, or Joey Fatone? If you've seen or not seen this movie, you know that through the create that the, through the creation of Facebook, Sean Parker served as the first president of social networking, who was played by the one and only JT baby. It's Justin Timberlake. Woo! Forty-five thousand six hundred and eighteen. You got it. You got it. He ends up actually being the movie, but how can you hate JT, huh? If you don't like Justin Timberlake, you know what I have to say to you. Cry me a river, ooh, cry me a river. Should we go on to Q2 or should I just keep, keep this song going? Q2, which actress from A Star Is Born is an EGOT winner? Judy Garland, Lady Gaga, Barbara Streisand.
these powerhouse musician actresses could all potentially have secured the EGOT, but it was the lead of the 1976 version of A Star Is Born, Barbara oh. Streisand. Babs got it. She's got that EGOT. Wow! Look at that. Cute too. It was a little bit savage. Oh, some of you fell off the deep end. Oh, you could come dive back in. You can. You know. You got an extra life in there. Use it, babe. You know that this question will probably be irrelevant when Gaga does get the EGOT. She is not an EGOT winner yet. Barbara Streisand is. Also, there have been four versions of A Star Is Born. Can you believe that? Lady Gaga deserves an EGOT after her. After today at the inauguration, she sang so beautiful. Moving on to question number three. In Labyrinth, who does Jareth disguise himself as in the maze? Beggar, doorman, or giant? You may know Bowie's face was hidden throughout the maze like Waldo, and he snuck into one scene before anyone realized he was there. Then he stands up like he ripped the whole person off, <laughs> and he is a beggar, no less. Check this out. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, tra-la-la. -la. What? The reveal, the lighting, everything just changed him, right? That is nightmare. That is a nightmare. 23,491. You got it. I don't even have to beg you to try. You just got it. Can we see that one more time? How, did you see that reveal? It's just like a creepy costume and then, oh, here we go. Oh, we got the little marble Nothing. and then, Nothing. boom, we got David Bowie. Nothing. Check it out in a very tight pant. <laughs> It's Bowie in a tight pant. All right, moving on to question number four. What team did Madonna play for in A League of Their Own? Rockford Peaches, Racine Bells, or Chicago Bandits? In this movie, Madonna played center fielder May Mortobito, AKA all the way May. You know she's fast with the guys. She was part of the team that made it to the World Series in the final scenes of this movie. And obviously I'm talking about the Rockford Peaches. Oh yeah, there she is. What a good movie, right? Rockford Peaches, 22,156. Got it right. You know, they didn't win the World Series though. That was Racine Bells, they won. And I wanna know what is your favorite line from this movie let me know in the chat. Type in your favorite line from A League of Their Own. I'll tell you mine. You know what mine is? There's no crying in trivia. There's no crying in trivia. Right? Was it baseball? Sorry. <laughs> I only speak trivia. <laughs> Moving on to Q. What kind of film is Red Man trying to direct in Seed of Chucky? Horror, Western, or religious? This is so meta, it's a film question within a film trivia game. So many horror franchises introduce rappers in their later sequels that there's probably an equation to chart how likely it is. Red Man had one of the memorable ones as a religious film director. Who guessed religious? Wow, wow! That was another savage question! Look at that! The savage is burning people just like Chucky burns in those movies. He burns in every movie. That's how they get rid of Chucky. And then somehow he magically comes back. All right, I wanna know in the chat, which Chucky is your favorite? I'm gonna go with Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky is my favorite one. Although all of them are really good. If you like a horror movie, if you like the Chucky movies, I hope you're using that extra life to come back. We're only on Q6, we're halfway through. I believe in you. Here we go. Which Jonas brother has a role in the Jumanji reboot franchise? Joe, Kevin, or Nick? these films are better than many anticipated and it's because they know how to cast their actors and of course they chose to cast Nick Jonas. There he is. He is the kid who was trapped in Jumanji for over a decade. Some of you came back into the game. Welcome. I missed you and I love you. 12,293 of you. You did it. And you know I want to know which who's your favorite Jonas brother? Come on. Who's the hottest Jonas brother? Is it Joe, Kevin or Nick? Some of you are gonna say Nick's. I, I might say Joe, honestly. Power couple, he's hot. And I appreciate those who said Kevin. Oh, we got Nick fans. Okay, I see you. 
Nick fans, he won both of those. He won my question and he won the actual question. Moving on to question number seven. Cinna is primarily known for doing what in the Hunger Games? Fighting tributes, dressing people, or baking cakes? Certain celebrity actors just have that feeling of, I know this guy. And if you clocked Cinna as Lenny Kravitz, well then, congratulations, you figured out who that stylist slash tailor was. That was his job, he was dressing people. Ooh, 12,090, you got it right, that was, you got that question. A lot of Hunger Games fans in the HQ universe, I know that. You know what's funny? He didn't dress anyone in that giant Lenny Kravitz scarf, <laughs> right? And he probably got along with Jennifer Lawrence on set because she's an American woman. I'm sorry, that was dad joke of the night. That's the only dad joke I have. We're moving on to Q8. <laughs> Who did Ludacris effectively replace in the Fast and the Furious franchise? Ja Rule, LL Cool J, or Bow Wow? There's musicians throughout this franchise, but we are talking about Tej and Edwin, since Luda stepped in when Ja Rule felt he was too big for the franchise. He was. Ja Rule is the answer. 10,070. You got it. And you know where Ja Rule was, why he actually couldn't do that movie. He had lots of plans. The legendary fire festival, right? He, he had a, to set up that huge festival that never really happened. <laughs> Just think. I mean, fire fest, Fast and the Furious. I don't know if he chose the right path. But here we are at question number nine. A member of which band has not appeared in one of the Who's narrative films? Cream, The Rolling Stones, The Police. There's a lot of musicians in Tommy, including Elton John and Tina Turner, and we even get Jack Nicholson singing. He's not even a musician. There's also Quadrophenia giving us Sting and Clapton, but there are no Rolling Stones members. Mm -mm. The Rolling Stones, 5,736. You did it. Do you know apparently Tina Turner's role was almost Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger almost got that role, which is wild to think the two of them would compete for a role in any movie. But fun fact. All right, two more to go. Q10, or three more to go. Q10. Which hairspray song is sung by an actress in Chicago? Big Blonde and Beautiful, Lady's Choice, Run and Tell That. All versions of this film cast music royalty for Motormouth Maybell, the character. First, you had blues singer Ruth Brown, then Queen Latifah, who did belt out Big, Blonde, and Beautiful. Here you go. Anyone else dancing? Who's dancing to that? I kind of have her sleeves in it. I was thinking I had her sleeves. 5,749! You did it! You're big, blonde, and beautiful! You did it! You know who else played Motormouth Maybell? Jennifer Hudson. Remember when they did uh, Hairspray Live? I don't know if I like Jennifer Hudson, Queen Latifah, or Ruth Brown. Three iconic, iconic Motormouth Maybells. I'll let you decide in the chat while I remember my sleeves here. But you know what? It's time for Q11. What branch of the military does Mary bring up when appealing to the judge in Hidden Figures? Army, Marines, Navy. Janelle Monet as Mary Jackson got on the judge's good side by reminding him about his own firsts. He was the first in his family with a formal education judicial history, and his naval experience. Well, you were the first in your family to serve in the armed forces, U.S. Navy, the first to attend university. Oh, yes. Who said Navy? I love when she does that. Who said the Navy? Woohoo! That was tight. That was very, very close. 2,655. You got it right. You saw that movie, she did her research, right? She showed up to court doing her research and that is how you win. But you know how you win? You know how you win? You just have to answer one more question. We are here, we are at the final question of the night, of this game, musical musicians in movies, movies with musicians, I, you know, it's a tongue twister. But here we are, everybody take a deep breath or sing your favorite song. This is for big money right now, Q12. 
Here we go. In UHF, what is discovered in Al Capone's glove compartment? Gloves, maps, or spatula? Weird Al Yankovic fueled a big cult hit as George Newman, creating any and every kind of TV show for U62. And in a then topical stab at Geraldo Rivera, he cracked open Al Capone's car to find maps. Maps is the final answer in tonight's game. And it looks like we have 2,345. You just won HQ Trivia. Congratulations. Let's take it to the moon. Let's take it in the spaceship. Woo. Hidden figures, more like HQ figures now, baby. We did it. 2,345. That's a great number. I love when it's like a five or a zero. It's a nice even number. I can't wait to see who's taking home money tonight. Who is on this beautiful historic day? It's a historic day for you too now because you're retaining 13 cents, two dollars and 13 cents. Congratulations to IE Optin, Maddie Job, Mick Scotian, Robbins333, Mason534. That's someone's number. Winona6. You did it. Colis U, Alex. Pied, Anastasia, <laughs> Mango, what? Okay, uh, Vilcon, CSI, Mike, 909, you did it, 2,345 of you. I'm so proud of you. On movie night, that is the kind of performance that wins you an Oscar and a Grammy. And maybe a Tony and an Emmy if you're going for the EGOT. You might get there. Maybe not in HQ land, but maybe in your own world. I bet you're glad you showed up tonight. We certainly are. I am so happy that you're here. So come back tomorrow. Don't forget you got another chance to win tomorrow, right? You got two chances to win tomorrow. Hall of Trivia is at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then another HQ Trivia game is at 9 p.m. That's two chances to take home two prizes and the glory. Movie night isn't until next Wednesday, though. So you better be here with me because I'll be here. And don't forget that charity once again is Remembering Ruthie Rescue helping so many furry friends in Gwinnett County, Georgia. They are at rememberingruthierescue.org and any help is always appreciated. So definitely go check them out and go see their puppies. Go see their doggies. All right. I'm off the deep end. I'm Anna Roisman. We're all going home right now. Thank you for playing or trying and staying. And now I Take a bell in your cell phone, cell phone, phone, phone. We're shutting our cell phones down. Woo! In our cell phone, cell phone, hey! Okay, thank you. I have a solo to do. Give them a gift drop. Tap for a gift drop. You're tapping the gift drop now. What did you get in that little icon? I'm making a song up now. I hope you got something good. I love you so much. Oh, you got an eraser? I heard you got an eraser. Good. Use it next time, baby. Have a great night. Thanks for staying.